All right, welcome back to Game Development with Pygame. This is part 19 of our zombie-style top-down shooter uh, tile-based game. And in this video, we're going to add a pause screen and maybe a couple other minor things. So before we get to adding the pause menu, uh, there's a couple small things that I want to do. And one of them is, right now we have the um, zombies when they die. Oh, by the way, I did find a better pistol sound, if you can hear that. Um, the zombies make that splat noise and they disappear, but I want to leave you know, some sort of indication that I've killed some zombies already. And to do that, I just made a little green uh, splat image like this. It just looks like a splatter. And we're going to draw that onto the ground whenever we uh, delete a zombie. So, um, so we're just going to load that image first. That's the you know the first thing we need to do. So, we're just going to call this the splat, and we need to load from the image folder whatever the splat image is. Uh, dot convert alpha, and I've just added that to the settings over here. It's splatgreen.png. And then I made that image large so that it would be, we'd be able to use it at whatever scale we wanted. So I'm going to scale it initially here to a good size. Uh, I found that, oops, splat. I found that 64 by 64 wound up being a, a pretty good size. All right, so there's our splat image and we're, we now have it loaded. And now we want to draw it whenever we, a zombie's health reaches zero and we delete it, you know, and play that splat sound. Well, we're doing that in the zombies code right here Oops, in my class mob. So when my health, when the zombie's health reaches zero, it, you know, draws itself on this, I mean, it, it deletes itself, it plays a the splat sound, and we want to also just draw it. And so the place we're going to draw that is on the game's map image. We're going to just draw that. We're going to draw the splat image at whatever position the zombie was at minus a little bit, right? Or half the size, right? Because I want it centered at where the zombie was. Okay, so that's simple enough. Now when I kill a zombie, I can see a nice little splat mark there on the ground. And let's kill a few more and you can see we'll stack up a few. Okay, and it looks nice. You can see there's been some action here. Okay, on to the pausing. And by the way, as we go on, I think, uh, you know, this is usually the way I work on things too, is every once in a while you get an idea for a small little uh, little addition and you go and you take care of that before you go do the next big task. It sometimes feels nice to add some of those little small things that might not be big enough for a whole video. Um, okay, so in the new here, we're going to have a new variable called paused. And this is whether the game is paused or not, right? And so that's going to be a flag that we can toggle by pressing a key. So that means we're going to go down to our draw section, I mean, sorry, our, our event section. And if we press the uh, P key, P for pause is what I'm going to use, then we just take the paused variable and we make it the opposite. Right, we invert it. So now we have this variable that we can toggle between true and false. But now what do we want to do when the screen or when the game is paused? Well, there's a couple of things. The first one is I want to make everything um, stop happening, right? I want to stop the game. And the easiest way to do that and the simplest way to do that there's, of course, much more complicated things you can do. Is here in the run loop. Um, right here, update is what moves everything and makes it all go to different places. So we're just going to say if we're not 
paused. Then we're going to uh, update. So only if paused is false will we update all the sprites and do everything else that needs to happen here in the update section. So if you take a look now, we can run, and when I hit P, everything is frozen. Okay, I can't move, I can't do anything. And when I hit P again, everything starts going, right? So I can toggle between Right, see, so yeah, I pause it, there's a bullet there. Okay, so that's fine, but it's also hard to tell that everything is paused. So we want to have some kind of effect to noti notify us that the, the game is paused. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to uh, add a function called draw text, because I want to see the word paused on the screen. Now, this Draw text function, I've just copied and pasted it because this is, this is very similar to the one we made for the shmup game and that we used also in the platformer um, jumping game. And this is just a function that what you pass to it is some text that you want to draw, um, what font you want to use to do the drawing, since we, that way we can use different fonts for different things, uh, what size you want it to be, what color you want it to be, where you want it to be and an align. An align means what corner of the rectangle do you want to place at that x and y. That way you can, you know, write justify or center or, or however you want to place the text. And you can see here, depending on what value you pass, it'll set a different, um, a different coordinate of the rectangle to that position. Okay, and it's just going to draw that text onto a location. So you can pause it right here if you want to look through that code. Okay, so we have this draw text function and we just want to um, draw it at a certain location. And so the first thing I'm going to do is pick a font. And what I did was I wanted, to, I wanted a, a nice thematic font that would work well for this game. And I found, I found this font. Um, called, let me join this, I'm just putting the font in the image folder along with the other art, um, and if it's called zombie.ttf. Well, obviously you can use any true type font that you go and find yourself. Um, there's a lot of different great websites out there that have free open source uh, or um, royalty free fonts that you can use for, uh, for making games. But that's the font we're going to use. Um, and in fact, I think we'll call this the title font because there might be other fonts we want to use for uh, other bits of text that we want to show, and we can load those later. Okay, so we're going to use the title font, and then in our draw section down here where we're drawing everything on the screen, if we're paused, we're going to draw that text. So right down here at the end here, because I want it on top of everything else. If we're paused, then we're going to draw, we're going to use our draw text function. The words we want to say are paused. <clears throat> Excuse me, the font I want to use is the title font. Um, the size we're going to do 105. We're going to do it in red. And I want it centered, so I'm going to say width divided by 2 and height divided by 2. And then the, uh, the align is going to be center. Okay, so now when we run it, we will see that when I hit P, there it shows up and says whether I'm paused or not. And that way I can tell when the game is paused. And that's nice, but I think we could do a little bit better. And the other thing I want to do while the game is paused is I want to dim the screen. And so dimming the screen means we want to basically... A couple ways you could look at it. We want to lower the brightness of everything on the screen, or we want to draw a semi-transparent uh, gray, kind of translucent 
image over top of the screen so it looks like it dims everything. So what we want to do is we want to have a an image to use and so we're going to go back up here to our load data here and what we're going to do is just put it right here. I'm going to make an image to dim the screen and it's just going to be a surface and its size is just going to be the same size as the screen. So we just say get get size and then I want to do convert alpha just like we do on every other image. because I definitely want this to have a transparency channel. And then the dim screen I'm going to fill with black but with a alpha channel of 180, right? So either that could be 0 or 255 to be maximum, but I'm going to put it somewhere in the middle because I want it to be dim. And then what we can do is down in our draw section, just like we're drawing the text, we're also going to draw that image on top of everything. So we're just going to split that image, the dim screen, and we're just going to put it at zero zero so it covers the whole screen. It's the size of the screen remember so if we draw it starting in the upper left hand corner it'll be the same size as the screen. And so when we run it that's gonna look like that. See, Isn't that nice? So now as we're running around and seeing you know what's going on when we pause the game you know everything's dimmed a little bit. And just to show you uh, what difference that makes if we were to put Let's say we were to put a much lower value here in the alpha channel. Is it going to be brighter or dimmer? Well, let's take a look. See, it's not nearly as much, right? Because if we had gone all the way to zero, that would mean it would be fully transparent, so we wouldn't see any change at all. So basically, the bigger, the big, bigger you make this number, you know, the more closer to the closer to black it's going to be. See there, it's even dimmer. So I kind of liked that a little more than middle range number of 180 for our pause screen. There we go. So hopefully that was helpful to you in this game or any other game that you might be uh, looking to put a pause menu in. This is a super, super simple and straightforward way to do it and it looks really nice with that dim screen. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, in the next video, we are going to start adding some different weapon types. Uh, I think the next one will be the shotgun. So it'll be a nice different kind of weapon effect. And uh, as always, please hit the like button below if you enjoyed the video. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already so you can see the next video as soon as it comes out. Right, thanks for watching.